every picture he's doing, it's just like doing a timeless picture that would be incredible no matter where we are. Posing and the framing and everything is just like spot on. 50 years ago this month, the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition was born. The issue has become one of the world's most successful around. Joining me now are five women who know what it takes to make it into the magazine. Veronica Varikova was the 2004 cover model. She returned two years later alongside seven of her peers for an all-star beach party. Petra Nemkova was SI's top choice in 2003. She has had a presence in seven swimsuit editions. Chrissy Teigen, Lily Aldridge, and Nina Agdell were crowned this year's cover. Many are calling it the happiest in swimsuit history, featuring three stars. The first, <laughs> the first was 20 years ago with Kathy Ireland, Elle McPherson, and Rachel Hunter. I am pleased to have them here at this table. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah. What is it about being on the cover? of the swimsuit edition. It's 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 like taking an elevator and going like 20 floors high in a split of a second. And that's for your career, for your life. Um, the windows open up for many opportunities. It's just an incredible gift. And this is your first. This is my first Sports Illustrated cover. It's my first Sports Illustrated ever. And rarely does it happen, your yes. first one ever, as you're on the um, cover. Yes, I, I feel so excited and blessed and it's been a whirlwind and it really is a launching pad for your career you know overnight you become a household name everyone knows who you are everyone sees this cover it's huge it's incredible and you're on every television show yeah <laughs> Christine? which is actually my favorite part of it <laughs> <laughs> oddly enough no i mean this is fantastic it's my fifth year but you know it, it goes by when you're in the issue and you just you come not to you don't want to expect too much. And so to actually get the cover and be on the cover for the 50th anniversary mm -hmm. and follow in the footsteps of these women is just crazy. And it's an honor. And it's a little nerve-wracking because you want to be able to, to live up to what they've accomplished and what they've done. So it's really just so exciting and fantastic. And the whole ride, I'm so excited for it. Uh, Veronica, you're in this one as well, the one that I talked yes. about here. Uh, so what's it meant for you? Everyone around the world uh, knows the issue. And kind of expects uh, once a year, you know, gets excited and uh, goes to a new stand and get it. And so no matter where you're from, if you're from Czech Republic or Brazil or Japan, or they still haven't had a Japanese, but maybe, maybe, yeah. um, <laughs> you okay, know, so it doesn't matter. It just, it just opens the doors for you and uh, people recognize you and whatever you want to do in, the, in life in the future, it helps. It makes a difference. Yeah, absolutely. So there it is. There what it did you is. say? <laughs> <laughs> what did I say? Yeah. I think I just started screaming. Um, actually, I wasn't there when it was pre presented to the other two girls by MJ. I was on a Skype call, and I had a producer holding the phone, and I was like, because the screen is so small, even though it's an iPhone, you can't really tell what's going on. And I just see Chrissy and Lily going crazy, and I hear them screaming. And I said, see MJ with a big sign, and I think it's me on it, but I can't really tell. But I'm figuring out that since these are freaking out, I should probably be freaking out too. So I started screaming, and I was actually in Joshua National Tree Park, is that what it's called? To get Wi-Fi in Palm Springs, because it's a desert, so there's no Wi-Fi anywhere. So I'm sitting in this bench and the security comes over and he's like you need to be quiet and i'm like i'm so sorry but this is big this yeah, is big news the one time in life yeah as loud as possible definitely you know, walter here really one of the great photographers was here yes. i mean you want him to shoot your cover if it's mm. possible don't you sure. because because he is incredible photographer but also you you get um you, he has so much joy he he shot 12 covers yeah. um but every photo shoot is like the first one he gets so excited and he remembers mm -hmm. every detail he tells the most amazing stories i'm like oh i don't even remember that anymore but he remembers every detail and he's just so much fun to be around he's a is a treasure yeah he has uh, the best energy yeah he did my very but first. does he talk to you i mean what makes his photograph seem to be so Oh, he definitely Good. makes He's you feel super thing. comfortable. comfortable. Yeah. Exactly. It's all about being comfortable. You, it sort of feels, despite of 20 people being on the set, you feel like it's just you and him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm and nothing else and you have this unbelievable connection and he's warm he's kind he's elegant you know you kind of in a skimpy bathing suit often and mm -hmm. he just doesn't he doesn't he just looks into your eyes mm -hmm. and Makes you feel so, and and um, how, what percentage of the people who do this are, are in modeling five years later or are they moving into other things, whether it's acting or whether it's humanitarian causes or what? 
all the girls actually keep mm -hmm. their f one foot in the modeling still. Mm -hmm. No matter if they go yeah. into business or um, entertainment or philanthropy, they always yeah. keep one foot in well, there. There's some, some uh, beautiful connection to keep up with, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. There's It started us off Roots. and it would be kind of rude to, mm -hmm. to yeah. dismiss uh, uh, our beginnings. Yeah. I mean, I'm very grateful for everything that happened to me, including Sports Illustrated. But when you feel like it's time to, you know, mm -hmm. you get interested into something else, mm -hmm. Use that opportunity while it's while you're still. I would think that would be the most extraordinary thing. Mm -hmm. the, the people that you get to meet, yeah. and if they, you know, and you have a chance to tell who you are and what you're about. I mean, you and I know and have talked about what you're doing in Haiti, uh, but I'm sure that some of the people that know of what you're doing are people that made an association because of that, and also yes. because they knew of your story from the tsunami. Yes. Um, Actually, I was on a cover in 2003, and a year later, um, I was blessed to survive the 2004 Asian tsunami. Right. And because being on a cover and having this incredible platform, I was able to really uh, set up the foundation and have a, a lot mm -hmm. bigger impact. Are there any misconceptions about all of this? And what do you think, Petra? Mm -hmm. In other words, I'll give you sort of we a, are very a blonde stupid, and stupid. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> of course, of course. Yeah. Except yeah. Lily yeah. and you know, Chrissy. Chrissy no, is, it, is there something that you say? I want to show them that I'm not what you might see because of a perception of blonde and something. I think it's a story of life. You need yeah. to prove yourself no exactly. matter what, right? Mm. So whether you model or uh, sell something in the store, you want to grow. You mm. want to march further, right? I think yeah. it was like an opportunity because I think people box definitely everyone sort of in different uh, boxes and in a way it's an opportunity to, to break that box and I love that. It's like sort of, you know, taking you the... the all of them, Petra. Uh, well, <laughs> well, it's, it, some of them sort of just, you know, meeting people but some of them uh, strategically. When I uh, started a foundation, um, I actually took a very conscious decision not to do sexy pictures, um, mm -hmm. not to do Sports Illustrated um, swimsuit or anything like uh, like that, um, because if I speak at the United Nations and somebody sees me in a bathing suit, they wouldn't take me seriously. So I had to make that commitment to sort of show that I'm serious about philanthropy, about the Happy Hearts Fund, and, and weird, it's, it, you have yeah. to do it to yeah. sort of make that statement. Do you feel the same way, Veronica? I do, but um, at the same time, I think you kind of disarm people as soon as you open your mouth. I mean, not probably every time. Sometimes I stumble, and <laughs> but so do You're the president. You're the most honest person I've ever <laughs> seen. So do the presidents. You know, I'm very yeah, brutally honest. Yeah, but, right. you know, so do the presidents, and therefore it doesn't really matter who you're speaking to. I think if you do get the point across, which is essential, and you know how to do it, and all of these beautiful ladies know how to do it, it doesn't really matter uh, whatever Go ahead. people think of you. Yeah. Uh, at the beginning. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. their problem, not yours, yeah, by the way. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. This is what MJ Day, MJ Day said. Lily is a fashion industry star who's going to thrill an entirely new audience, and she makes history by becoming the first rookie, which we've talked about, to grace our cover since Heidi Klum. Chrissy is glamorous, dynamic, and a cultural phenomenon. <laughs> and Nina, this... <laughs> this Even Charlie's <laughs> laughing at the Cultural phenomenon. But wait, it gets better. And Nina is a bombshell. We knew she was going to be a star from the day we met her. Um, <laughs> how did you how did you get into modeling? Um, I was discovered on the street back in my hometown, Denmark, when I was really? 14 years old. Like a photographer or a magazine editor? No, or? it was elite model management. They have an annual competition, and they saw me and were like, do you want to be in it? And my grandma and mom was like, yeah, she wants to be in it. No. <laughs> yeah, so I was in it. I didn't win. At 14. 14. Yeah. Started modeling in Europe, but didn't really like it, because I think... When you first start, you're not used to everybody poking you and ripping your hair or putting makeup on you. You like to stop touching Illy Hill on for a second. And you know, you can't really say that to a client when they're paying you to just stand there and do what they're telling you. Yeah. So when I was that young, I didn't really enjoy it. Um, and when I was 18, I was just tired of school and I decided to move to the States and try it out. And now I am tired of school. here. <laughs> yeah. So that's and how it all the time happened. of your life. Absolutely. Yeah. I absolutely love my job and I love this whole thing. Yeah. How is the image of my, if I looked at Sports Illustrated from the beginning to today, to the one, you know, this Kate and, and this, would I see an evolution? I mean, is there more and more what? We have the Instagram, the Twitter, mm -hmm. the, yeah. you name it. Yeah. And so I think uh, the exposure is much yeah, bigger. The social media it, push yeah. for it is, is intense. and It took it to the next level, I think. I feel like it still has the same spirit, though. Like, mm -hmm. if you look back on covers, mm -hmm. it still has that just 
beautiful woman. You and I want to be literal, honestly. I feel like recently, it's been this the year of the butt. Like, people love bums. You said, you said, <laughs> and what, I, feel what, like, what? I feel like mom. This, this, this is the year of the butt? <laughs> That's yes. It's the year of the butt. But, I mean, when I was young, too. honestly, there, men weren't like, oh, look at that butt. No. Like, when I was young, not what at all. Saying? <laughs> they didn't say anything about me, though, honestly, <laughs> when I no, was are you young. Serious? Oh, when I... you were growing up, you were not sort of, everybody said, that's the most beautiful kid I've ever seen? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Trust me, we can even pull up old photos, and I can, I can definitely verify that for you. I was a tomboy. So if I come back in five years, we gather at this table in five years, where do you, what will you be doing, and what do you think, what do you hope you'll be doing? Because I'm sure it has to do with Haiti. Uh, well, Haiti, and um, well, I would love to build, uh, wow. Um, we will build by the end of 2014. We want to commemorate the 10th anniversary with the building of 100 schools. 100 and, charter schools in Haiti. Uh, actually, uh, we are we work in seven countries. Yeah. Uh, we will go to the Philippines, so eight countries. Mm -hmm. So at eight countries by the end of 2014 to commemorate. But in five years, well, actually the bigger picture would be to. Um, do something broader than Happy Hearts Fund. Well, I have a Happy Hearts Fund goals, but the broader thing would be to create more sustained response. Because what happens now after natural disasters, when first responders leave, children communities are forgotten. They wait for four, six plus years for a new, a new school. And that you lose the whole generation. So for me, it will be to find a system where you can, can narrow the gap so children don't have to wait for six years. Mm -hmm. Maybe one year, because you cannot make it uh, you know, disappear, but that the gap is narrowed. That will be my goal, that to create that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's so inspirational, and that's why these women are on the cover of Sports Illustrated. You know, to to do better, to raise awareness. It's an incredible gift. So it's a gift that can be used so many different ways. So it's nice to see when someone does it yes, right. It's, it's really nice to see. I know I love Petra on like crazy personal <laughs> levels as well. But what she so what does is, it you is love just better, beyond crazy personal level. She's just such a fantastic human being. I think there has not been one email I've ever received from her that I didn't get a little teared up from or a screenshot and send to John. I'm like, this is the sweetest woman on the planet. I can't believe I can't believe she's real. And it's just really nice and refreshing to see all these women in Sports Illustrated really truly get along and understand where each other's coming from and be supportive Support of each other. other. It's really, really wonderful because sometimes you lose you lose a little bit of hope sometimes. You're like, oh, do women still love each other? Do they still have this? connection and it's really nice to see I think with Sports Illustrated it's a perfect example even with Victoria's Secrets it's yeah. such a teamwork mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. usually the girls we, we fly by ourselves we mm -hmm. buy ourselves on yeah. a shoot right but with with this and with this with Victoria's Secrets you call always kind of with your other family, girls yeah. and yeah. absolutely like, like, like we'll be bonded yeah. for life nobody feels yeah. exploited or anything no. like that at all yeah, mm -hmm. so but five years from now Christy where will five years from now um, I love to cook <laughs> so I would love to do like a cooking travel show but also be able to balance that with having a family and you'll be teaching at Columbia political science or no, Harvard no, or no, Yale no 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 <laughs> I hope I can get through no, it but, you, five um, years from now so I want to continue what I'm doing in Africa. Mm. I uh, work with what African Wildlife. I sit on board of uh, African Wildlife Foundation. Right. So obviously, I'm sure you've heard of the elephant overpoaching issue. Yes, so that's a that's a big tackle there. And then I want to support the development in Africa. So we. I, and what brought you to that? Wasn't it? Is, was it? Is that right? Yep. Climbing Kilimanjaro. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, it totally opened the door for me to Africa, and I bought a land in Rwanda. And so yeah, I spent. You bought land in Rwanda in yeah. Kigali. Yeah. So that's, I want to be there and I want to continue exactly where I've started off and, and, and help the continent to be what has um, all the chances to be, you know. Oh. I think that is really nervous. Nervous. You guys are no. to making it. No, no. 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 Oh, my goodness. No. You guys so no, but I mean, Here's the interesting thing about it. To know both of them mm. is that it's real genuine and, in fact, they're doing yeah. serious things and able to... To, to pursue that passion. It's, it's not like some nice answer. It is what you were no, doing. No, it's a fact. <laughs> but I think do I, we have to give credit to SI because with SI you travel to the most incredible countries yeah. and that really opens up your, your world. Mm -hmm. Of course, with fashion you travel as well, but mm -hmm. SI travels to more remote areas, mm -hmm. to the sort of most uh, where you see a lot and you see the disbalance. And I think that is part of why we sort of start thinking really, okay, there's a disbalance, what we can do about mm -hmm. it. And mm -hmm. I think so we have to give credit to SI for that. Okay. So where are we going to find you in five years? Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty big question when you're... Uh, 21. I don't know. I will, I will hopefully still be modeling yeah. and 
doing some acting. I would love to do some talk show later in life. Thank so you. As long as there's Thank a you. Thank 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 you. so much. much. Sports oh, Illustrated see. cover edition is out. Swimsuit edition is out now, I think. Yes. 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 Right. <laughs> the bottom million. Go get it. <laughs>